What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Source. This is the video a lot of people wanted to see. This my friends is a Google Phone 15 Pro Max. Now this is a one-to-one -one copy of the original and as you can see I have marked out the logos as this is a counterfeit. Uh, it's a lookalike model that uh, represents the uh, original version and people out there are trying to actually sell it as the original so in this video i'm going to unbox it and review it but in the next video i'll be showing you a real versus fake and what to look out for when purchasing an iphone especially the Pro Max as I don't think they've got the Pro models and the normal iPhone 15s I'm pretty sure it's just the Pro Max versions of the iPhone 15 Pro and also the previous ones so as I told you in the disclaimer in the beginning of the video this is just for advertisement uh, educational purposes only and it's just to unbox and show you what the phone is like and if you know what to look for then you know what to look for when unboxing and reviewing this but if not then check out my next video real versus fake on the real iPhone 15 Pro versus this Google phone iPhone 15 Pro Max so let's unbox it and let's see what we get inside now as you can see the box looks identical I have penned out the logos so if you're wondering why it's all black I have penned it out I just left the iPhone as this is a Google phone now the box actually looks identical I've got a 15 Pro original version and the box looks the actually same of course it looks it is a bit bigger because this is the Pro Max version as you can see right there so take a look at the back you've got no plastics around it you just got the pull tabs which they have uh, um, made it identical so you can't tell the difference you can each actually purchase these pull tabs as well so for people who have got opened up original iPhones, they can pull these pull tabs on say they're brand new so as you can see you've got stickers all um, a big sticker which uh, tells you what's inside the phone and also the AMI numbers and also the address at the bottom and it says iPhone 15 Pro Max at the top designed by Google phone in China not California so let's open up the pull tabs look at that same and the bottom one same wow let's open it up it's not a smooth opening so that's one thing to look for uh, of course with the original iPhones you got a nice smooth opening with this box it's really cheap and it's a, a bit of a rough opening so as you can see inside on the top of the box you have got the cutout for the camera lens and here it, it is so obviously i opted for the natural titanium look but we're going to check that out later in the video now inside the box you've got the booklet and also the usb to, uh, type c to usb type c braided wire and of course i have penned out the uh, you know the brand and looking inside you've only got a paper booklet and also the sim card ejector tool so let's take a look at the goof on i know i've messed it up but i've penned out the logo on here as well so this is what the natural titanium goof on 15 pro max looks like and as you can see look at the camera lens taking a look around you've got a, a titanium look on the bezel uh, on the body around it and as you can see you have got the action action button volume rockers and the sim card ejector tool let's pull up this paper look at that i don't know if you can tell on camera but it has got a bezel all around it's not a full screen you can actually see the camera lens there and also the dynamic island there so as you can see here it has got stickers around the body of the iPhone. I don't know if you can see it. It's got stickers around it. So if you do actually see um, an iPhone in the box with stickers on the body, that's another uh, telltale sign that it could be a fake. So powering it on, as you can tell, it does show the logo. That's why I've actually blurred it out. So that's definitely been uh, copied on the 
and they've been doing that for years on the previous iPhone Google phones that I've actually done uh, but let's see when it comes to the screen have they actually worked out how to make the full screen because before with the Google phones you'd also know that they've got a big bezel at the bottom even though uh, they got the screen right at the top there's always a big bezel at the bottom and the screen to body ratio was out of line and as you can see here you have got a big bezel at the bottom it doesn't look that big it's getting better year by year but just look at that that actually looks really cool and they've actually mimicked the operating system as well so let's set it up and let's see how it is United Kingdom you can default set and as you can see here it doesn't look really crisp uh, with the text it's actually there is a bit of um, defects when it comes to the text quick start the font is off as well it's definitely different compared to the original but if you haven't got the original or if you don't use an iphone you wouldn't even know that this is a fake because they're definitely gone all out when it comes to this uh i um a go phone i'm gonna call it go phone look and straight away you've got the old tone as well so that's another thing uh to look out for it's a tone set up later in settings um don't transfer apps uh, use apple services instead update manually disabled set up later screen time don't share because i don't know who it's going to share it with don't share light so it's got light mode dark mode and auto we'll check that out later so quick start there we go action button press and hold to silent or on and off you can also customize action button to the open camera turn on flashlight or access a favorite iphone feature so let's customize that let's see if that actually works just go straight into i am um, emergency sos and that's it so that doesn't actually work uh, so let's get so as you can see uh, the original iphone never does that swiping it down from the left will bring you the notifications and as you can tell the font is off on that one the time shouldn't be in that font swiping it down from the right you've got the show cuts which actually are do look the same but they are definitely uh, a bit off when it comes to the font and it hasn't got 3d taptic touch it does work the uh, when you hold the brightness and everything in even the music or not not the music the show cuts nope but the brightness does so you can do dark mode dark mode is on so let's uh, go into settings and as you can see dark mode is on so they have got that swiping it up uh, let's turn that back off right that's so we'll put it back into normal mode and as you can see with some of the other shortcuts you've got screen uh, recording uh, you've got your timer bedtime start watch world clock let's go into calendar definitely looks the same so i pin it back up going to photos so this uh, check that out so there's already photos on there i don't want to go into it because it might copyright it but there is photos already on there preloaded going to mail definitely not adding uh, my mail details on there so you got your uh, notes which are definitely the same reminders similar or even same you got your clock definitely looks identical that uh, your uh, tv that's downloaded stuff your podcasts google play app store uh, i'm sure you'll go into play store oh yeah it will actually so i'll click it to the uh, internet after this to see what um what apps that actually brings up so you got your health uh, that is actually similar as well to the original your wallet google pay uh, settings we'll go into that later let's go into calls definitely the same look at that let's try something i'm sure if you do that seven eight no no twice uh seven eight nine seven eight nine what is it hash star again hash star no same error uh, but yeah i could get into it to change all the details i'll check that out later so weather app it's probably similar uh, find friends that comes up as google uh, maps uh, find friends again the brand version make it your maps you got your home you can get started no thank you contacts 
definitely the same. Uh, you've got your files, internal storage. That, uh, it says uh, one terabyte, but that is definitely fake. Movies, any movies in it. Swipe back doesn't work. Uh, in videos, there is one what we saw earlier. Notifications. So yeah, that's definitely an Android feature, what you can see right there. So your books, uh, iTunes Store. So you got your Google Play, which I'm not going to be signing into. You can do one on that one. Uh, you got your watch, which definitely they have, uh, I duplicated it, but I'm not going to connect my watch to that, no way, because I don't know what server that will connect to. You got your social medias, where you got your TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. Uh, but where do they have, oh, where do they have the Play Store to download the apps? And there you go, look at that, as you can see, it's got Play Store there, that's where it's hiding. Is it? There we go, couldn't sign in. Another thing I've realized, it actually comes preloaded with a screen protector as well. So it does come with everything except a case, but it does actually feel really nice. It's quite light as well. So we are going to do a, a tear down and destroy this as well, because I'm not actually going to sell this on. So don't worry about that. Uh, we're going to actually do some stuff with this uh, smartphone, Google phone, should I say. Wow, after just using the camera, it reminded me of my Nokia, was it 838610, something like that, 8310, uh, because that's what the quality is like on this camera. It doesn't look that bad, to be honest. As you can see, this is one time zoom. So if you just like zoom in in here, as you can see, the pixels are not that bad. But it's just when you go into it, and that's two time zoom. Still not bad and this is three times zoom and that's the video so that's three times zoom so it's still not bad it's not a bad camera i'm not gonna lie let's check out the video um pressing play check that the stabilization is just crazy video quality is not bad as well but it just it just varied when you zoomed it in because when you're zooming it in you know that look at the pixels that was two times zoom and there we go so let me just bring the camera i'm going to show you something funny about this camera so as you can see if you hold it in you can change it so if you go to one let's bring this watch right here so as you can see here it just zooms in it just jumps straight to two then it jumps straight to five and then when it goes over ten so from five to ten it zooms in but when it goes over ten it doesn't do anything all the way to 25 as you can see and it's same again when you uh, want to do with the ultra wide so from 1 to 0 0.5 it doesn't do anything and it just jumps from 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 then 4 5 and then after that it just zooms in and doesn't do anything from 10 to 25 so that's how you can tell. That's one thing to tell when it comes to the camera. Make sure you check out the camera. These slow modes, they're just useless to be honest. And coming into the show, because as you can see, they have mimicked everything exactly the same. Can't tell any difference. If you didn't have an iPhone uh, in front of you and you, you're not too keen on iPhone that you didn't know what to look out for you would definitely think that this is the original even the font the icons everything looks identical uh, the even the dynamic island which I want to show you right now as well so let's go into settings and let's show you look at that the dynamic island let me show you something check this out they have actually even mimicked the dynamic island charging port check that out look at that we need to check more stuff on that so if you want uh if you want to see some shorts or anything like that make sure you do follow me on my social media i'll put some, put some shorts so look at look how identical it is when it comes to the settings about as you can see iphone iphone 15 pro max this is definitely not the right uh, capacity it's not a uh, one terabyte they've definitely got that wrong because they can actually put whatever they want on here look at that does swipe back work let's go there yeah it does work cellular uh, control center action button so silent focus camera flashlight create a shortcut so what we'll do is 
we will put the camera on so get started open app we'll open the camera and there we go is that how you do it so yeah we'll change it like that shortcut let's try it out see if that works yes it does did you see the dynamic island on that let me just double tap double tap does wake it up holding in dynamic island hold for open open doesn't do anything and as you can see it is in the camera app so the dynamic island works and also the action button works so i'm actually quite shocked they've actually gone all out with this goof 15 pro max to make it look identical but we're going to do a real versus fake or you can check out the next video real versus fake i don't want to do too much in this video so let's connect it to the internet to see if we can get any uh, geekbench results so download the two apps just to see what results i'll get so the first one is this gfx bench now this actually gave me some uh, surprising news and it's running android 6.0 with the display of 1540 times 720 uh, cpu is an octa core cpu at 1.3 gigahertz the mediatek chip is mt6580 and the memory is 8 gig and i'm pretty sure they've actually stuffed a one terabyte uh, micro sd card inside but we'll check that out on the teardown video and look at some of the features that this phone has as has not got so that is the results of this phone. You can do more results, but what's the point as it's it's not a really good phone. And as, as you say, the device is different as well. So when it comes to this dev check, so this is probably called device check. Let's see what information this actually gives us. It, it does take time to load. And as you can see here, it does show you some information about the phone. So let's go into system and swiping it to the top. As you can see, it's running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, which is really old. We're on, I think we're on 14 now. And it just gives you a bit more information about the device. And they definitely have um, duplicated or even made stronger accusations on what this device has. So as you can see right here, MediaTek 6580. GPU that's the display that's the memory one gig of RAM storage 128 KB uh, file system extension block size as you can see it's like 4 gig uh, low latency or the fingerprint it's got none of these so yeah that just gives you an uh, insight on what the device and what in hardware they are running when it comes to these fake iPhones the only thing it actually looks good but the rest of it is total you know failure they have actually mimicked the operating system uh, even when you want to close the apps as well the old noise you, you can close it as well so you can actually do anything even when it comes to if you want to move the apps as well hold it in and you can actually move the apps it's a little bit slow but there you go I've actually put Wi-Fi on, so let's go into App Store and let's see what we have in the App Store. And you can actually download apps from here as well. How good is that? I don't know how they've done this one. As you can see, it's really slow, but you can actually download apps from there as well, which is really cool. So I'm not going to do that anyways. Let's turn my, um, as you can see, with the keyboard and everything. Press done. And it's actually quite and kind of crash now we'll turn wi-fi off so there we have it ladies and gentlemen i've got more videos planned with this goo phone 15 pro max a real versus fake and also he's him actually gone quite hot as well for me using it uh, the goo phone 15 pro max versus my original iphone 15 pro just to show you what the color what the color is and also what to look out for and the last video will be a teardown to see what it happens inside because i've done loads of teardowns with different goo phones you can check out the playlist fake playlist i'll put it up top there or I'll, you can check out my playlist fake ones you can see all the fake smartphones there but overall they tried and they are getting better because from years ago i did iphones i think uh 10 
and all the way to 15 or even iPhone 8s as well. I've done the fake iPhone 8s, iPhone 7s, I've done fake iPhone 7s and fake iPhone 6s as well. Uh, for those people who are following me from a while ago, you know I started from iPhone 6 and we're on iPhone 15 now. Wow. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. If you want to see any other videos with this smartphone, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again for another video. Check it out. Goofone 15 Pro Max.